Okay. Nothing new, pa new pacing. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. So for the purposes of this little discussion, we're going to ignore um, external resistance, and we're only going to talk about the resistance of gravity. Um, so we're talking about in shoulder internal and external rotation and um, how that relates to gravity. So if we have Sarah move in this direction, that's shoulder internal rotation, and she's going gravity assisted. Where was I going with this? <laughs> Don't even stop. Don't even action. Got yeah, nervous. There <laughs> we go. Okay. So we are talking about which muscles are contracting and how. Our patient is supine on the bed. Her shoulder is 90 degrees abducted. Her elbow is 90 degrees flexed. Um, so she's in neutral, neutral shoulder rotation. So if I ask her to internally rotate, so if you would bring your hand down toward the floor, because her body part is moving toward the floor, it's a concentric contraction. Uh, e I'm sorry, that's an eccentric contraction of her external rotators. When she comes back up to neutral, because she's moving away from the floor, that's a concentric contraction of her external rotator. She's moving toward external rotation. If she were to come back into external rotation, because her body part is moving toward the floor, it's an eccentric contraction of her shoulder internal rotators. And if she were to come back up to neutral, that's moving away from the floor, so it's a concentric contraction of her internal rotators.